you made uh, your your debut with uh, APW against uh, the Raging Bull Manny Fernandez, according to my research. That man was uh, by then a, a very accomplished veteran. W what are your memories of that uh, particular circumstance? And, and how was uh, your mental preparation stepping in with, with such a, uh, an accomplished vet? Um, so, uh, so your research is very, very, very good. Um, uh, he was actually my third pro, pro match. Um, my first pro match was against um, a guy named Ramon Garcia. And my second pro match was a guy named Jason Clay. And those are good friends of mine at APW. And then Roland threw me in there with Manny Fernandez. So I remember being scared because I had been watching Manny on WCW television back in 1984 when he was tag team partners with Rick Rude. And, you know, he was tag team partners with Dusty Rhodes and, you know, the Raging Bull, Manny Fernandez, you know, had a lot of respect for him. Um, and I remember, I remember in the match just listening to him and him taking me up for a high vertical suplex and i'd never taken one before never taken one in practice or anything so he takes me up for the high vertical and when he takes me up i kind of like go up and i over rotate and i come and, and i start coming down and he's not ready for me so as i start coming down he kind of comes down with me real fast as soon as he comes down he whispers to me don't come down until i tell you to and i'm like i couldn't help it right and he hits, he hits the ropes and he comes up with a knee and I'm like, okay, he's gonna drop his knee right across my face for coming over on that suplex. And I remember Manny dropped the knee right on my forehead and I didn't feel a thing. So I just remember him being a real pro out there, getting a little upset with this rookie and still not taking liberty on me, not hurting me. Um, I, I ended up wrestling Manny um, a few years later when I got real seasoned um, and he had said some like some funny things to me about being late in the locker room. So when I got out there, I was like, I'm going to play around with Manny a little bit. So, so we're, we're out there and we do, we do a little amateur wrestling exchange and he's trying to stand up and I won't let him stand up. Right. I'm just holding him down. So he stands up, I bring him down. He stands up, I bring him down. He's like, Tony, you want to let the old guy lead? And I said, <laughs> and I said yeah, sure. Right. <clears throat> so he stands up, hits me with an elbow, hits the ropes and then hits me with a flying burrito. Right. And when he hits, and I've been watching that since I was a kid, right? So when he hits me with that, I take the bump, I scoot, right? When I hit the floor, I hear Manny click, cling, grab a chair, right? So I'm like, okay, for playing with him in the ring, he's gonna give me a receipt. And as he comes over to me, I'm ready for this chair shot. And all of a sudden, pop, and it's loud. Everybody screams, and I didn't feel a thing. And I just so I remember, I remember being out there a couple of times, making Manny mad. And never did he ever take liberty. He was always a professional. So that's what I, that's what I remember most about my matches with Manny. It's like this young kid got wise with him, and he still uh, was a professional.